different ways of asking questions about free radical substitution reactions in multiple choice questions, but I've chosen one here that's slightly out of the ordinary. Um, it asks here which of molecule of A, B, C or D is not produced when ethane reacts with bromate, bromine in the presence of ultraviolet light. Um, now, obviously, it's a multiple choice question, so we need to do it and answer it quickly and uh, get on with things. Um, you basically have to think about some of the different possible molecules that might be formed um, and hopefully a quick mental rummage will uh, through your previous notes will make you think that we've never seen the creation of hydrogen radicals. So this sort of formation does not exist. Hydrogen gets stripped off and goes away to form hydrogen chloride or hydrogen bromide. So your answer is hydrogen. Hydrogen is not produced when any compound reacts with a halogen in the presence of ultraviolet light. A second sort of question is this longer form question where there are several different parts to it. Uh, haloalkanes are used as refrigerants, solvents and anaesthetics. Trichloromethane is a haloalkane that can be formed by heating a mixture of chloromethane and chlorine. First part, write an overall equation for the formation of trichloromethane by the reaction of chloromethane with chlorine. OK, so an overall equation is just a standard equation. You don't need to put in your um, initiation, propagation, termination. It's basically what goes in at the front and what comes out at the end. And we have our reactants already stated, so we will uh, look at those. Uh, first off and we can write those in which might help us a little bit later on so chloromethane uh, CH3 Cl is given us in the question and chlorine of course is our other reactant now we're gonna to have to balance this so leave some space and chlorine always goes around in pairs until it's split so Cl2, we don't need to put state symbols in at the moment, and that gives us trichloromethane, CHCl3. But it's not as easy as just removing, uh, just sticking those chlorines on. Don't forget we're having to remove hydrogens, and those hydrogens go off as something else. Now if you look back at your notes on propagation steps you'll see that every other propagation step involves the formation of a hydrogen halide so we are going to be releasing HCl as part of this. Now a little bit of work with balancing will show you that we have got um, uh, one, two, three uh, four chlorines over here. Um, it's not at all balanced. You need to think about for every hydrogen that's being removed from the CH3Cl, um, we've got to add a chlorine atom to that molecule, but also use a chlorine atom to take away the hydrogen. So we are losing two hydrogens on this side of the reaction, so we need to have two HCLs over here. Okay, so this gives us one two and then uh, three over here so that's one two three four five we've got one over here already so we need two chlorine molecules in order for that all to balance out second part of the question name the mechanism for this formation of trichloromethane well you should be able to work that out we need to put in all of it though free radical substitution and on to the next part of the question which is dichloromethane CH2Cl2 is an intermediate in this formation of trichloromethane 
write an equation for each of the following steps in the mechanism for the reaction of dichloromethane with chlorine. And the first part is the initiation step. And as you should remember, the initiation step always starts with the halogen. So the easiest way of doing that would be to write Cl2, an arrow. And over the top of that, you could put UV to show that you understand that UV light is breaking this up. And we're getting two chlorine radicals. Do not forget that dot. OK, so that is our initiation step. Now it asks you here for two propagation steps. OK, so our first propagation step must involve the CH2Cl2. OK, so CH2Cl2 plus one of our chlorine radicals from the initiation step. Do not forget to put that dot in. Gives us. Now, don't forget, we've, what we've done here is we have removed a hydrogen. So we now have CHCl2. And we must show that that is now a radical. And the dot must go on the carbon atom. Okay, And H. CL, the famous misty fumes. Okay, so second propagation step takes the newly formed uh, organic radical molecule, CHCl2 dot. You will be penalized if you don't include those dots. Okay, plus a new chlorine molecule to give us C H C L three plus a chlorine radical. And those are our two propagation steps. Now the third part here uh, says a termination step leading to the formation of a compound with formula C two H two C L four. So a termination step, don't forget, is when we take two free radicals and we join them together. But this is giving us a certain amount of um, freedom, but it is telling us what it expects us to end up with. Now, my suggestion would basically be if you look at that and broke it down into uh, chunks, you'd see that it's basically two CHCl2 radicals that have been joined together. So let's put that in. Quickest way of doing that is having two C H C L two radical okay goes to C two H two C L four. Pause a moment to do some balancing. Make sure that that's correct. So you've got two carbons. Yep. Uh, you've got uh, two hydrogens. Yep. And you've got two chlorines uh, sorry four chlorines yep okay so those are your answers